Chains make a great tool for increasing strength and power at exercises like the bench press or squats. That's because chains provide a type of resistance known as linear variable resistance. Linear variable resistance means that the weight or resistance increases throughout the range of motion. With chains, this happens due to the fact that as you lift the chains from the floor, link by link, the weight that they provide increases. Using chains with free weights, such as a loaded barbell, has been shown in numerous studies to increase strength and power better than using typical free weights alone. One reason for this is the fact that the linear variable resistance forces you to use more fast twitch muscle fibers. In addition to boosting muscle strength and power, chains can also help you increase muscle size, especially on single joint exercises like the barbell curl. With the curl, having linear variable resistance from the chains helps to place more focus on the biceps. That's because when you do curls, the biceps aren't fully involved until about the halfway point when the elbows are bent at about 90 degrees. Because the weight from the chains gets heavier the higher you curl the bar, you get more resistance when the biceps really kick in. When you try it, you'll really feel the difference. To do the barbell curl with chains, you obviously need a set of chains. You'll need two pairs of two different chain links. You'll need a pair of chains that have 3 8 inch links and are 49 links in length. These will serve as the adjustment chains. You'll also need two medium sized carabiners to adjust the chain length. And you'll need a set of chains that have 5 8 inch links and are 29 links in length. These will serve as the weight chains. You'll also need two large carabiners to attach the weight chain to the adjustment chain. You can either get all this at a hardware store or a marina, or make it simple and order a complete set for about a hundred bucks at EliteFTS.com. To set up the chains in the bar, attach the adjustment chain to the middle link of the large weight chain. Slide the adjustment chain onto the barbell as though you're loading a plate and add a collar on for safety. Be sure to set the adjustment chain so that when the barbell is in the bottom position of the curl, the middle length of the large chain is just above the floor with the rest of the chain in a pile on the floor. You should have enough total weight on the bar, that's chains plus the weight plates, to limit yourself to about 8 to 12 reps per set. Once you're all set up, perform barbell curls as you normally would. You won't believe the burn in your biceps. Although chains provide great linear variable resistance, and they look cool to use, Lighting them to the gym every day can be tough. Like I said, the set weighs about 50 pounds. A great alternative to chains is to do the barbell curl with strength bands added to the bar. Bands also provide the same type of linear variable resistance that chains do, but they're much easier to transport. For more great tips like this, check out all my exclusive videos, articles, and workouts on my website, jimstepani.com